we're going to be making a quick chickpea salad and I'm just showing you everything that we have here. We have some spicy mustard, some bell pepper cut up, some scallions, some dill, which I've washed. Um, gosh, that's right. Yeah, I washed it. Um, and then we have some apple cider vinegar, some chickpeas. This is the kind that I usually use, uh, no salt added. Um, that's probably the best kind you can find. But if you can't find, you know, beans with no salt added, don't worry about it. Just rinse them a couple of times and they should be fine. Now for the mayo, you know, for the oil that we have to put in here, I'm going to show you several options. So you can use yogurt. Um, you can use a non-dairy yogurt if you're off dairy or you're vegan. Um, and you can also use hummus. Um, both of these are all free options as long as the hummus is all free, which I think this is. I'm not sure. This might have a little oil in it, but just find you a hummus um, that is oil free um, or find you a non-dairy um, yogurt and you can have an oil free chickpea salad that's vegan or you can just use regular mayo or vegan mayo and it'll still be vegan. It just won't be whole food plant based. So here we go. I'm going to make this for lunch and um, let's go ahead and get started. I've got my food processor here, which is, I've got my food processor here, which is this is where we're going to do most of the work and then we're going to throw it in a bowl and mix it all together. So the first thing that I like to do is take my chickpeas. So we've got the chickpeas here. Let me get my camera right. Here. So we can go ahead and throw these into the food processor. And you just want to pulse it until you get it like the, the consistency of chicken. So not too long. That's the way we want it. And I'll just pulse it one more time. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all of that to my bowl. Okay, so we've got everything in the bowl here. This is the consistency that you want. And you can So let's start putting in our ingredients. You want some bell pepper. Got some scallions here. Okay, now let's go ahead and add in our dill. I've just got some fresh dill here that I'm just going to um, sprig off. So we've put in our dill. Uh, now we're going to add some spicy mustard. Um, I've got some hummus that I'm adding. Like I said, you can add uh, mayo, whatever that you have on hand. But this hummus is a great option if you're vegan or if you're oil free to get that creaminess of the chickpea salad. Sorry, to get that creaminess of the chickpea salad without actually putting any mayo in it. So, here, I'll pour just a twinge of that in there. Let's go ahead and add our spices. I've got, just to give it some kick, I've got some paprika. Go ahead and add that in there. And to give it a little bit more spice, I've got some cayenne pepper. Throw that in there. Just an extra for a little bit of kick. And then we just want to mix all this together. I also have some black pepper, but I like to put that on the end. You can add in something sweet in here. You can. So here's the finished product. It looks even better in real life. The camera cannot capture how beautiful this is. I'm going to throw in some black pepper. Black pepper here. And you can throw on some sprigs of dill. Not coming out good, guys. Just trying to throw some sprigs of dill up there. There we go. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? It's yummy, oil free, friendly, vegan friendly, vegetarian friendly. So delicious. Of course, I've had a little bit of a taste and it is so yummy. So I hope that you try this spicy chickpea salad recipe. I'm going to go ahead and put it in a burrito to take to work for lunch. It looks so delicious and I hope that you guys will try it. Everything will be in the, rest in the description box. 
below for this delicious chickpea spicy salad. There's so many ways that you can eat chickpea salad. I have me some of these. They were actually on sale for two bucks. You can't beat that. Um, so I'm gonna put this up here. I've also got, um, I've got some, just some tomatoes and different things that I'm gonna actually place on it. I've got some tomatoes, some, however you wanna, you can put it on sandwich bread. I've got some whole wheat sandwich bread. Um, you can dress this up however you like. So this is how it looks on a wrap. Spicy dill chickpea salad. And I've just got it on a sprouted grain wrap and it just looks super delicious. Spicy deal. And I mean, this is just a quick, easy lunch recipe. You can eat it for lunch, for snack, for dinner. And stick around because I'm gonna show you actually what I ate today. So don't go anywhere, uh, stick around because I'm gonna show you what I eat. And this is actually what I'm gonna eat for lunch today. So you guys can already see what I'm eating for lunch today this spicy dill, yummy chickpea salad in a wrap. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's kind of downcast outside, but that's okay. I'm having these juicy ripe mangoes. They were on sale for a dollar at Whole Foods. And I'm gonna have some bananas for breakfast. I always start out my weekdays breakfast with fruit. The only thing different that I eat for breakfast is on Saturday or Sunday I will have some oat pancakes or oatmeal but other than that I eat fruit for breakfast almost every day and it's just really fulfilling, very light and that's how I start off my day. So happy Friday by the way. You probably won't be watching this on a Friday though but it is Friday today and this is what we're having for breakfast and then I'm gonna run on to the office so it is rainy outside today. It looks so dark in here. But uh, anyway, just a normal Friday work day. And like I said, um, I'm gonna be showing you the chickpea recipe because I actually had to make that this morning for lunch. Had to rush and make that for lunch this morning. So I went ahead and filmed it. I like to film things when I'm already <laughs> eating it I don't like to I, I like to film it if I'm already making it for myself to eat I don't like to just film it just to film a video you know because that's wasting food and I waste enough food as it is so um, yeah it is a rain Well, my second banana. It has been a busy day. Been doing interviews, setting that up because we want new. Well, they want get new teaching faculty for more classes that we're doing. So it's been super busy, but I finally have got time to breathe. See, each work day here is different. Um, you get the really busy days, and then you get the days where it's just like. So this has been a good balance today. I've got a little bit more work to do. This is how my wraps turned out, in case you're wondering how they look. This is what I'm eating for lunch. I also have some leftover veggies and hummus. I'm just gonna kind of scrounge this down when I work while I work and get some things done. And yeah, this is how the wraps turned out. The chickpea wraps, and they look really good, so. I'm ready to eat. It's not takeout guys, it's homemade. And it looks super duper delicious. You gotta make this recipe, it's wonderful.
I'm home and this is kind of what I wore today. <laughs> Just jeans and this little sweater and this coat, which it's raining and it doesn't have a hood to it. I know it makes no sense, but anyway, uh, yeah, I am home. I'm trying to fix this camera. There we go. Yeah, I went to Traders. I might show you what I got. I might not. I'm just going to go fix some dinner. It was super busy at work today, so I did not whip out the camera again. Safe to say. Um, had a lot of paperwork to do. Still have some paperwork to do uh, when I come back on Tuesday. Yeah, um, Monday I'll be off. So, yeah, anyways. This is how we're looking and how we're doing right now. Um, yeah, so yeah, this, the only thing I don't like about this camera is that I can only like see it when I do it like in a mirror, but it doesn't have like a viewfinder, which I need to get me one of those cameras. But anyway, today was a pretty good day though. Went by very well. And like I said, I stopped by Traders and then I stopped by the hair store and now I'm gonna go fix me something to eat because I'm starving. I never even ate that bar. Like safe to say, I never even ate it. And then I had like a headache midday and I don't know why that was. I just ate my wraps and my fruit. So I don't know what the deal was with that. Um, I had a little bit of dark chocolate to snack on and that was about it. So, um, anyways, I am going to go fix me something to eat and I'll check in with you guys later because this is like real what I eat in a day. It's like work day and it's like I'm ready to go eat. So, I will see you guys later. Okay guys, so I'm here with my big plate. I'm about to devour it and I promise you this tofu does not taste like paper. Contrary to what you've heard. Now yeah, we've got, we saucing it up tonight and because I got a little bit of a wild side, we got some paprika on this tofu and the fries. Oh yeah, we're spicing things up tonight because it's <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to enjoy this abundant plate of food and I hope you guys enjoy your day. Come back for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe guys. Like and subscribe to see more wonderful delicious videos. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I gotta taste me one of these. Do a live taste test of my test all free cookie. Ah. I already had a bite. No! No! This is not all free! Come on! What? All free, gluten free! Oh yeah. The recipe's coming for these. God. 